Hello and welcome back to another video. Today is a DIY video. We're going to be building a light stand for that tank over there, the Amazon style biotope kind of tank. I don't even know what I'm saying, but we're going to be putting angelfish in that tank and I want to make it look as natural as possible and I don't want to have just an ordinary light kind of like this. Right now it's kind of messy, but I've just got this regular light that sits on the tank. And I don't want that for this tank. I want to have a light, kind of like a pendant light, just hanging, uh, making the water look as natural as possible. So we're going to be building a light stand here so that I can hang a nice light up on it. So let's begin. These are all the tools and items I'll be using for today's project. And of course you need your wood. So first I'm measuring how tall I want my light stand to be and I'm going to be attaching this to the wall so I don't really need it to be that tall. It doesn't have to go all the way down to the floor. So in my case my light stand is around 45 centimeters or 18 inches from top to bottom. Next up I'm measuring the horizontal bar for my light stand and for this I want my light stand to reach out to the center of my tank. So for me, this is 30 centimeters or 12 inches. So I decided to sand down all the pieces just to give it a smoother finish, but this is really optional. All right, so now that we've got all our pieces cut out and sanded, uh, we just gotta put them together. So I'm going to pre-drill some holes and then we're going to screw them together just using some screws. So you'll see how it turns out in just a while. This horizontal piece that I'm attaching right now is totally optional. You don't have to have this bar, but I thought it looked sleeker and it made the light stand look nicer in my opinion. So. That's why I decided to have it. But you'll see later that you really don't need it if you don't want it. Okay, so there it is. You can basically see the shape of it. It's gonna be attached to the wall and we're gonna have some lights hanging off of this. So right now it's still not entirely stable. Just having screws alone doesn't seem to keep this thing really stable. You can see, you can kind of twist this around so to prevent that, I'm going to use some of these, what are these called, like 90 degree angle brackets or something. And I'm going to attach them there using some of these smaller screws so that they stay in place. Alright, so I'm in my room right now. You can see my tank right here is a little bit overstocked I'd say but all the plants are doing good the fish are all doing good and water quality is also doing great we've got a good filtration system on this tank and soon the angelfish will all be coming out of this tank but just take a look at how good they all look I can't wait to move them out into the tank that we're working on right now so I've got to get this thing done I just went out and got a couple of these brackets and these should be able to hold this stand together make it more firm and sturdy and it's also said that one of these brackets can hold eight kilograms as you can see right there so that's way more than enough uh, support so we'll put one on each side but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and paint this Alright and here we are the next day. I've put two coats of that paint, or more like varnish actually, it's not quite paint. But I've tried to match this with the color of the stand and you can see it's pretty close. Not exactly the same, but I'd say it's quite close and I'm pretty happy with it. So now what we gotta do is attach, mount this thing onto the wall. And I've already put two pilot holes on each side of this leg thing, whatever you call this. And you need to put pilot holes because you don't want to risk 
uh, breaking this wood or snapping it or whatever you call it, cracking it. So that's why the pilot holes are important. Now I'm going to try to level this thing and mount it to the wall. So let's go and do that. And take a look at how good that looks. Just wait until we get the lights hooked up and that thing will look incredible. But take a look at also how level it is. It's not a hundred percent level, but we're in the okay zone. So yeah, not looking too bad. A few moments later. A few days have gone by and we've just received something special. Take a look at this right here. So let me get this thing off of there and let's go ahead into the fish room and we'll unbox this thing all right so here it is we've just received a light from chihiros this is their a series light it's a really slim and lightweight model and that's that's one of the reasons why i wanted this for this setup because we've got a diy stand right here it's really really sturdy but I still want to keep the weight of the light as light as possible, so that's why I decided to go for this. Here's the light unboxed. You can see this light is super slim. I really, really like this, and it's also very lightweight, and I love this design too. You can see all these horizontal lines. It's very similar to their other lights that they've got, the WRGB, the Vivid, so that's really cool. And we've also got two different types of stands. So this is the regular stand that the light comes with. It's a plastic or acrylic stand, and this stand is quite cool because it allows you to swivel the light forwards and backwards, so that's kind of cool. But today we won't be using this. We'll be using the hanging kit with a rope, and this thing, this attaches to the light itself, and we'll be able to hang this from that light stand. So here's the hanging kit, all set up, ready to go. You can see how nice and sleek this thing looks and I've tried to neaten up all this extra cable. You can cut it off, but I don't want to cut it off just in case I want to adjust the height in the future. But what I'm going to do now is I just went out and got these O-hook screws and I'm not sure if that's what it's even called, but we're going to screw this in to the light stand up there, two of them. And then I also got these carabiner, mini carabiners, and we're going to put them all together and I'll show you what it looks like. Take a look at how good that is looking. I'm super happy with the outcome and I love the way this tank looks. I finally, I'm finally able to see how this tank looks under some light and I'm kind of happy with it. It's not 100% complete. There's still a lot of changes. I want to add more gravel into this tank and these rocks that are on the driftwood it's only there temporarily because the driftwood still wants to float so i've got to hold it down with those but i'm super happy with this outcome the plants should start doing a lot better this philodendron it should start growing a lot more as well as the pothos on this side i'm planning to add more pothos as well so i can't wait to see how this tank develops and the fish we've got some cardinal tetras in here and also one angel fish we've got more to add in this tank so stay tuned subscribe to this channel if you haven't already this is going to be an angel fish kind of a south american biotope style tank so yeah it's it's super exciting and the light looks incredible so this is how it looks close up we've got this o screw attached to the wood and then we've got the mini carabiner holding the light in place and i'm just super happy loving this outcome you can see how sleek this light is super thin and it's perfect it's not the most powerful light i've got to be honest with you but it's going to be perfect it'll do the job just fine for this tank because we're not going to be having many plants maybe i'll add some valisneria in here and this light will be just perfect for that and you can also see i've got a smaller size this is for a 60 centimeter or a two foot tank my tank is a three foot tank and I think it's it's just perfect. Uh, it's not too obtrusive, so that's why I went with that size. And I just I gotta say again, I'm super happy with it. These plants will surely enjoy it, and I just can't wait to see everything start to develop here. Huge thanks to Chihiros for sending me this light. I'll put their links in the description below. So if you're interested in some of their products, definitely go check them out. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this DIY video. I hope you could take something away from this. Subscribe if you haven't already, so that you don't miss upcoming projects in this fish room and I'll see you guys next time.